Nice to meet you. My name is Munenori Hirakawa. I'm working at PayPay in Japan. PayPay is providing payment services and its most popular mobile payment service in Japan. I'm very happy to have this opportunity. Today, I will talk about when we migrated to Taidebi. In last March, we migrated our most mission critical database to TidyAB because the service was growing exponentially and there were many time constraints. We needed to complete the migration within three months. I'd like to talk about how we achieved this. First, I would like to introduce Pepe. Pepe was launched in October 2018 by SoftBank, Yahoo Japan, and Paytm, which is providing mobile payment service in India. Although cash has been used a lot in Japan so far, services have expanded rapidly due to large marketing campaign and government, government policies to promote cashless society. Currently, the population of Japan is around uh, 100 million, but PayPay has been used by 29 million users and 2 million merchants. And recently, the number of payment, payment transactions reached to 1 billion. There are many payment services in Japan, but PayPay has the largest market share. In addition, PayPay is uh, connected to Alipay of China, and almost QR codes of PayPay can be scanned and paid with Alipay. Please look for the PayPay QR, co PayPay QR code when you travel in Japan. Next, I will explain about PayPay's architecture. PayPay is available for offline and online payments. We have multiple ways of making payments. User scan, which the mobile app scans merchant's QR code. Merchant scan, which the barcode uh, displayed on the mobile app is scanned by the store's post machine. And online payment, which can be used on EG sites. Also, users can pay with either their registered credit card or their pre-deposited wallet balance. Pepe is using Amazon AWS as infrastructure and we are uh, building microservice architecture on it. We have around 80 components and almost components are using Java, Spring Boot, and Amazon Aurora for database. All payment transactions are sent and managed at payment component. When payment transaction occurs, the transaction data will be inserted into payment database and the transaction status will be updated according to the status changes. So this payment database is having very light heavy workload. Along with the service glue, the payment database became a bottleneck. So we decided to move to a more scalable database. There are several, uh, there are several reasons to choose TidyDB for our new, new databases. First, TidyDB was uh, compatible with MySQL. So almost none of application code change was required. Since TidyDB is a distributed architecture, 
for example, uh, we had to pay attention to the behavior of auto increment, but the modif modification was very few. Second, TidyB can uh, scale horizontally. It can handle future data growth uh, easily. In addition, uh, because the cluster is composed of multiple instances, we could expect high availability, availability as well. Pepe was designed as cloud-native architecture, so TidyB was very suitable for Pepe. Third, since developers don't have to do sharding at the application level, we can keep the application simple. When the database is a bottleneck, we usually do sharding with using, let's say, user ID as sharding key and store the data in multiple databases separately. However, with this approach, application needs to handle the sharding logic and more complexity will be introduced into our database, in, into our applications. If we use TidyB, we don't need to worry about that. The fourth reason is it has already been used by many companies in production. In particular, TidyB has already had a lot of experience in the financial industry. We could get more confidence about this new technology. This was also the most strong way to convince stakeholders. This is a comparison between Amazon Aurora and TidyB. The advantage of Aurora is that by default, it has a slave read only, uh, only endpoint in addition to a master write endpoint. The replication latency between master and slave is very small. And even if slow queries occur in slave, it does not affect write performance to master. Proper use of these two endpoints is very effective in terms of stability. Also, Aurora is a AWS managed service, so management costs are quite a low. On the other hand, with Aurora, bin log replication becomes a bottleneck when so many write requests are there. Since Aurora waits for the replication destination to return arc in the commit process, the commit latency increases when the number of replications increases. Because we need replication uh, for the purpose of disaster recovery, this problem grew day by day. When we did proof of concept of TidyB, we did not confirm the same issue, and TidyB could handle three times more transactions than Aurora easily. To be fair, I want to emphasize that the Aurora database is a great database, but it wasn't just because of our bin log replication, repli uh, bin log replication re requirements. This is why we decided to move to TidyAB. The new architecture in TidyAB is shown in this figure. One TidyAB cluster consists of TD, TidyAB, and TidyAB, and each has multiple instances. Also, uh, bin log replications to slave cluster and DR sites are set with using PAM and Dreamer. Multiple instances are located in separate 
AWS availability zones. It means separate uh, data, data centers. So now it achieved highly fault tolerance at the same time. We took one month for verification and discussion to decide the migration. And in the next two months, we did some detailed verifications. The first test was for data integrity. We have confirmed that the database works as expected when we integrated it with our application. In order to guarantee this, we introduced two verifications, in-domain verification and cross-domain verification. This is about in-domain verification. Of course, we did the test in the test environment, but we wanted to confirm the behavior with actual production data. So we cloned the real production traffic to another Aurora and TidyB to see if the data was exactly the same. We introduced a framework here called P6Spy. P6Spy captured the data, which is sent over the JDBC connection and publish it to the Kafka messaging queue. The database operation, which is sent by Kafka message, was executed at both Aurora and TidyB by the consumer application. And the two data were compared using the sync diff inspector, which is provided by TidyB. As a result, we confirmed that the two databases have exactly the same data. This method has the benefit that the test can be done without any additional load on the production database. Next is cross-domain verification. Since our system is a microservice, we've also added a consistency check between payment and other neighborhood components. We used Amazon EMR, a uh, Hadoop-like architecture. We extract the data uh, from each database every few minutes and give it to EMR and check the consistency of those components continuously. This check keeps doing not only before the migration, but also after the migration. And we expect that this system can detect an unknown issue even after the migration. Performance and availability, availability testing was also very important. Since it has become uh, possible to handle high TPS that cannot be processed by Aurora, we have tuned the application to improve performance. Uh, for example, increasing the connection pool size and uh, uh, removing unnecessary indices. TIDAB could easily handle three times more TPS than Aurora with a latency of payment transaction uh, less than one second. For failure case test, we simulated more than 30 scenarios, such as instance, uh, cluster, and availability zone down. And we confirmed uh, indicators, such as recovery point objective and the recovery time ob objective. Thanks to binlog replication, we could reduce the RPO to almost zero. But because of that size, the RTO is still high. We need to improve this recovery, uh, this recovery time in case future large scale failure. For the actual migration, to reduce the risk, 
we considered an incremental approach, which uh, we will increase the traffic gradually. If it was a read-only database, we can control the traffic easily. But for a write database, uh, the implementation become very complicated. So we chose the one-shot approach. This method is simple, but if something goes wrong, it's risky because it will impact all users. So it's important to be able to roll back in immediately. We were doing a uh, bin log replication for initial data migration, but uh, during the migration, we set the replication to the opposite direction. Now we have Aurora as a backup, and we can load it back immediately, even if something goes wrong. Also, before the migration, we had multiple rehearsals, uh, including sales members and CS members. And, and the uh, Actual migration was completed in about two hours, including the verification time without any problems, and the service downtime was minimized. It has already been three months since the migration, and so far, so far uh, we have been uh, getting the expected performance. And there was no incidents in the last three months. It's amazing. It's very reliable. Also, I want to mention about the support uh, by Pinkap. Uh, they are always very supportive, and it has uh, led to our trust in Taibaby. I want to say thank you again at this opportunity. About the roadmap for the future. Actually, we selected version 2 for TidyAB because it was a very mission critical database and the version has a lot of experience. For first half a year, we will operate it as is to have confidence. After that, we suppose to upgrade to version 3 or higher as soon as possible. We can expect uh, many benefits, such as more efficient use of TaiKB regions and improved back, uh, backup features. Also, we want to migrate other databases other than payment if needed. Finally, uh, we'd like to contribute to TaiKB community by sharing our knowledge and experience. We hope uh, TaiDebi will become better and better in the future. That's about it. Thank you very much.